if it weren't for you, many would say, uh, Jason Kidd would have never made it over here to the New Jersey Nets at the time. What did you see in him that most didn't? Well, we were, you know, very fortunate to be in a position that we had a, a terrific player named Stefan Marbury that was uh, highly thought of in the league. And, uh, you know, so we had something to give in order to get Jason, who had already established himself as an all-star player. So it was one of the, you know, sometimes you're in the right place at the right time, and I think uh, we were at that time. So what exactly makes Jason Kidd the leader that he is? Because players, there's never been a bad thing said about him, and, and he just seems to be, I guess, a player's coach now, but he, he truly shines in the locker room as a leader. Uh, he has an incredible basketball acumen. Uh, he knows exactly where everybody should be all the time. He could see things before they happened. Uh, as a player, he has great respect because of who he is and what he's done from players. He's got some really good players here, and I think he's going to do absolutely great. When you heard about the Brooklyn Nets naming Coach, coach Kid Jason Kidd as our coach, what was your first reaction to that? I was surprised because, uh, you know, Jason had just retired, uh, hadn't been a coach. Uh, but it makes sense, you know, when you really look at it, uh, his history with the Nets, what he knows about the game, what the Nets were looking for, what they were trying to do, and I think uh, I think they got a coup when they got Jason. Looking back on his career, is there a moment that specifically shines for you that you remember fondly? You know, there are so many. Uh, maybe the first year uh, when we were on the ropes about to lose the first round playoff series to Indiana, and we ended up winning the game in double overtime. And he had 30-some points in the game and uh, double figures in rebounds, double figures in assists. It was absolutely incredible the whole night. And, of course, for him, it's kind of a moment that has come full circle, if you will. Um, what do you think this means for him on a personal basis? Well, I think it, I think it completes him. I, I think that uh, he was either going to... Uh, you know, be in uh, the administrative part of basketball or he was going to be a coach. And as it's worked out for him, he was able to segue right from a player into being a coach. And uh, I think it just sort of completes the circle.